Hello, Adrian here from the Distro team, and today we're going to be taking a look at how iPhone recovery works in the latest version of Distro. So when it comes to disk recovery, not only can Distro handle disks from, you know, of course your main hard drive or external hard drives, but even external media such as an iPhone. Now the way this recovery works is actually through a backup method. So the way that this works is it can recover data from previous backups on your iPhone made. So you can see here, I have an iPhone plugged in here. It shows up as iOS devices and I can actually recover data from it. But as you see here, it's based on iOS backups created by iTunes. So whatever was backed up essentially can be recovered. So, you know, typically most people when they have their iPhone plugged in, iTunes will automatically do a backup if you have it set. And this is really useful because from here, if your iPhone ever gets damaged or what have you, you can actually recover data directly from those backups. So you can go ahead and get photos, videos, audio, and more. Again, it starts by scanning the latest device backup and then it disables the device Wi-Fi, uh, so on and so forth, so that it can run through strictly USB. And then after the scan, it will review data found and you can recover certain data off of it. So you can do it that method just by directly going into the iPhone and starting the scan, keeping in mind that you can pause the session at any time here. Uh, stop it to return back to the home screen. Um, if you have iTunes backups already in place, so if you've backed up your iPhone previously, you'll notice at the very bottom here, you'll already see under other iOS backups. So to save a little bit of time here, let's go ahead and recover from my latest backup here. I'll just go ahead and hit the recover button. It's gonna do the same thing. Essentially, it's gonna go ahead and scan through. But as you can see right away, it's gone ahead and identified all my files that I've backed up here via my most recent backup. So in this case, in this view, I'm seeing all files, uh, no hidden files or system files. I can see all files, including hidden and system files here if I want to see those. I can sort it out just by pictures, video, audio, documents, and archives. So it makes it really easy if you're just looking specifically for one thing within your backup. You can even sort out by over or less uh, in terms of size. So you can say like over you know, four gigs or less than four gigs if you're trying to look for certain file sizes. Uh, let's say you don't know specifically where a file is, but you know roughly how big it was. It makes a great way to narrow it down. And you can say deleted within the last, you know, day, week, years. Um, so you can also find, you know, specific files depending on when it was, you know, deleted on the backup here. So in this case, let's go to all files, no hidden here. And keep in mind, you can also search manually if you know where to do that. At the top, you can go ahead and set your destination as far as where you want to recover to. In this case, let's go ahead and recover to my documents folder here. So I'll go ahead and choose that. And then from here, I can go through my iTunes backup manually and recover data. And this is really useful because with iTunes, they don't offer anything like this where it's simple and clean to manually go through a backup. You can restore a backup, but you can't manually comb through it like you can here. So for example, if I want to go and recover, let's say I want some notes here. I can go ahead and click down on notes and you can see I have a couple of notes here. I can go ahead and click on any of these notes, for example. So let's go ahead and click on uh, them via the check mark here. So let's go ahead and recover this one right here. Um, and you can see it shows you the file type. In this case, it's just HTML text. I can even see the modification date. Um, I can go back. Let's go ahead and grab some other things. Let's go ahead and grab some contacts here so I can see some contacts and go ahead and check some of the contacts here. And those are just you know, really simple. These are VCF files. You can go across and get all sorts of things, audio clips, um, chat messages, call records, things like that, all through this tool here via Distro. So really, really simple and easy. And once you're done, you simply hit recover here in the top right. And just like that, the files have been recovered. So from there, you can actually even go ahead and open up uh, the file you know, location here. So you can see here the contacts that I've gone ahead and backed up will all show up here in the portion in which I backed them up in the destination folder. And it's that simple and easy. So that's how iPhone recovery works in Distro. Be sure to check it out today.